So on Wednesday, I had a hair appointment with my sister. She's a cosmetologist. She did my hair. And when I got home, I didn't like it. So I decided that I was going to cut it. I was going to alter it. I got my scissors. I got my thinning shears. And I just went away, honey. And when I got through, I looked like a biscuit. Okay? It was so hideous. I had to take it out. And now you see what I have. I crocheted my own hair. Um, had to go in my hair bag and um, get some hair. I'm a 613 girl. But girl, you had to make it work. Do what you got to do. The moral of the story is, my sister is a cosmetologist. I'm a beauty school dropout. That's no longer my strength. There was nothing really wrong with my hair, but I decided to change it. And when I start trying to change it, I made a mess of it. That's how we do in life. Something isn't your calling. That ain't your strength. Nobody told you to go over there and start trying to help that person fix this. And then boom, before you know it, you done made a mess of things. And you walk around here looking like a biscuit. You got to learn how to, to stand in who God called and created you to be and created you to do. Because if not, we'll begin to make messes of other people's lives and of our lives. So I encourage you on the rest of this day to walk in whoever God created you to be. Know your strengths. Stop going over there trying to cut hair when God told you to cut grass. Do and be who God called you to do. Be. Because whatever ability that he's giving you, he's going to make sure that you have the strength and the, ca the capacity to move forth in it. See, I make flyers, websites. I do things like that, and I do it well. She does hair. That's her strength. That's no longer my strength. So what I'm going to do is keep making flyers and websites and put the scissors down, sis. Because, I mean, you just ain't got it no more. Let it go. So I encourage you. To let things go that you know that's no longer your strength. Do what works. Do what works and have a blessed day.